we know that these things are safe. There's no safer system at all anywhere on Earth than the Western world's fleet of light water reactors, water-based systems. And we're about to make a new generation of Gen 4 reactors, a new Gen 4 fleet. A thousand flowers are going to bloom when these Gen 4 reactors, when the first one finally gets across the finish line, it's going to explode. It's going to be like a mushroom explosion, a thousand flowers. And they're all going to be 10 times safer. It's the safest fleet already. And as Rusty mentioned, it's going to be safer, 10x, order of magnitude safer, oh so safe, an abundance of safety, All right? A century of zero deaths in the West with new Gen 4, we're going to have a 500-year mean time between failure because we're 10 times safer, an order of magnitude safer, safer than the LWR, the safest thing there is already. Walk away safe with added defense and depth. If it's factory built and we have learning curves from working in a factory and we're building them in the same environment every day, ever increasing quality, economies of scale. If the molten salt reactor with thorium based fuel are inherently safe, if they're intrinsically safe, operator error and terrorism proof. Blow up a molten salt reactor. Go ahead. Nobody talks about how they're terrorism proof. Fail safe. Immune to human error. Slow to respond. The inertia of a molten salt reactor is tremendous. You don't have prompt critical. And more. More, more, more safety. There's more. We'll talk about in a second here. But I mean, man, is that safe enough? Anything called a Gen 4 reactor has all those attributes. That is literally what it takes to become a Gen 4 reactor. Any reactor that's called Gen 4, lead-cooled, HTGR, ultra-high pressure water, molten salt reactors, they all share those attributes. That is the attribute that makes them Gen 4. The six Gen 4 reactor types is inherent safety. So I'm proposing that since safety in every form and every definition is such an explicit and underlying baseline of everything that is MSR, I propose that we finally get our priorities straight. If we have inherently safe reactor, then I have a new paradigm for that new inherently safe reactor. Inherent safety means cost first, speed to market second, and safety third. <laughs> I know there's some uh, guys out there fainting. They're like, oh my God, <laughs> don't put it on film, John. Don't do it. I can only call this a weaponized safety culture. A single mandate NRC should not be blocking the rapid deployment of these systems. Things like part 53 need to be adopted now. It's years late. We need to keep the prioritization of speed. That was good. That's a new prioritization they have in, in part 53 as an example. Let's keep doing more of that and do it ever quicker. We don't have time. It's fun. It's kind of funny. Safety third is just a way of me saying the emperor has no clothes, all right? All safety third is a way of me saying safety is so inherent in the MSR, so inherent in the design that we do not need a fabricated culture of zero tolerance and baseless LNT and Alara to scare us into safety. It is safe because it is inherently safe. The physics makes it safe. Safety is ever present from before the beginning. It's not safety first, it's not safety zero, it's not safety never, it's safety forever, it's safety in the DNA, it's safety uber alles. With MSR, we don't need to think about safety, 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 quadruple redundant systems, ridiculous EPZs. It's ever present from the first napkin sketch to the 50th refueling. Safety is already the alpha and the omega. It is the ether spirit of these systems. So stop making single mandate safety and the debunked LNT, the artificial straw man for delaying the rollout of these most needed technologies. Give us the dignity of taking a risk. 
And look, I know you all know what I'm saying. There's a huge gap between real world mandates for safety and real safety culture, real safety of things where it's like, hey, I wanna get home from my job today, so I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna wear steel toed shoes. You know, I'm gonna uh, wear my hard hat. I'm gonna, you know, build a fence line and have guards with big guns walking around it. I'm gonna lock out, tag out, because I don't like things blowing up in me or pumps starting with my hand on them. I'm gonna have training and beautiful train record. I'm gonna have chains of command, chains of custody, et cetera, et cetera. All of it, we're going to be safe as any industrial chemical facility. We believe in all that safety. but. It's this twisted take on the single mandate for the NRC and again, the LNT that needs to be taken away, zero tolerance safety paradigm that's been purposely and explicitly put into place to ensure that the nuclear industry is hobbled by capricious and endless regulatory weight and policy. Costs, costs in time, costs in treasure. There's no other industry that would put up with this. No other, the airline industry would never put up with this level of scrutiny. Medical industry and medical devices, people are allowed to volunteer for monkey hearts and pig bladders. You know, medical industry, the internet, you know, one of the, one of the most insidious and dangerous things for our children and society and we let it go utterly unregulated. Nobody in any other industry would put up with the giant burden that nuclear quietly just carries on its back. I want safety third to wake the regulators up. There is no other method of making energy more inherently safe. This is the safest fuel and energy production form factor we will ever have that can produce at scale and avoid calamity, avoid national security issues, save the environment, create jobs, prosperity, abundance. If the West refuses to do this, others will be happy to own the future. From China to the UAE, even little El Salvador, they are going to kick our ass. So again, if it's safe, walk away safe with added defense and depth. We are giving you an MSR that is inherently safe, intrinsically safe, factory built, fail safe, slow response curves, immune to system error, and fundamentally self-regulating, load following, always natural coast down to shut down state with no input from external controls or external human input, naturally cooled, naturally moderated, and innately simple and well understood. This is all true. This is all true, and you know it. And you, if you didn't know it before you came here, you know it now. Regulator, we have given you the inherently safe fuel and the Gen 4 reactor demanded by you. We've given you a 10x improvement over the phenomenal track record we already have. Now, keep your long delayed promise, adopt things like Part 53 and other policies like fuel recycling, and you damn well better give us the permission to save the world right now. I just want to say, you are all thorium. You are all the stone that was rejected by the builder. And now you're the cornerstone. You are the future of energy. Let's build this cathedral of energy together. Thank you, everybody.